Hey guys, Dan Buchan back, and welcome to the fifth video of my Shopify A to Z training series. Now, in this video, we're going to be going ahead and we're going to be finding the best apps you can use to boost conversions for your Shopify store. Now, not only will these apps help you boost conversions, they'll also help you build trust, they'll help you look at analytics for your store, and among other things. So, Again, you know, without further ado, let's just jump straight into it. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go straight into uh, into apps right here on the left uh, on the left sidebar. We're gonna go ahead and click apps. Now, as you can see, we already have Oberlo installed. I just went ahead and installed Vantage. So number one, our first app showcase is going to be Vantage. So let me go ahead and show you exactly what that is. Now, Vantage is a free um, analytical platform app. Now what this does is it literally takes your store and it gives you the analytics that Shopify won't. I'm uh, meaning how many how many uh, products are added to your cart, how many orders you got that week, which of your which of your products is most popular, uh, you know, etc. So again, Vantage is really really great when you really want to dive deep into the numbers that uh, that your store is doing. So again, let me just show you a couple of the parameters that uh, Vantage offers. So right away, you see you have revenue, you have orders, you have carts, and usually, you know, if you put this on an existing store, even a new store, this should populate pretty quick. But again, I just put this on. I haven't had any customers, any purchases yet. So that's why it's giving me no numbers. And again, you can see that that has other metrics such as what your top product is, what your custom, like how recent uh, someone checked out, how how many registrations you've had, what your top uh, promo top performing product is, or your top performing product variant actually, and how uh, how often your customer visits your page or whatever this uh, variant is. So again, Vantage gives you a bunch of different metrics, a bunch of different parameters that you can actually use to uh, to boost and scale your Shopify store, which is again why I really, really recommend Vantage. The best part is it's 100% free. So again, our first app showcase goes to the app Vantage. Now let's go ahead, let's go back into our app section. Let's go ahead and visit the Shopify app store. So. After Vantage, we have an app called Printful. Now, if you haven't heard about Printful yet, let me tell you something. When you're just starting a brand new Shopify store and you're debating, okay, I really, really don't have the uh, the funds to order bulk, right? I want to drop ship, but I'm looking at these AliExpress products and I'm just too concerned that uh, I, whatever, you know, might take too long to get to my customer or I don't want to be selling Chinese products, whatever your issue might be you can actually go ahead and download an app called Printful, which is literally a print on demand uh, site. So what that means is, say you have um, a custom design, right? Just like this heart right here. You go ahead, you create that design, you put it into Printful. Printful gives you one of two things. It gives you A, a mockup, so that you can go ahead and actually post that product on your store without ever actually touching the physical product and B whenever that product is ordered Printful will go ahead and print that t-shirt and ship it directly to your customer meaning they follow the same exact drop shipping uh, model that we've been following except they do it straight from California so it's a lot of benefits to uh, to using Printful so let's go ahead and press get and um, let's just download this for our store you know, for information purposes only. Just so uh, at the end of the video, you can see exactly which apps I have, uh, which apps I've, let me see, confirm your email address and create a new Printful account. Okay, so whatever, this is asking me to uh, actually sign into an account. We don't really need to do this. Um, yeah, we really don't need to do that. So let's go ahead, exit that out. Let's go ahead and add another Shopify app. Now, this next one is also very, very important because it has to do with customer relation management. And when I say that, you might already be thinking, okay, what is he saying? Is he saying emails? Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. I'm saying you need to have a CRM system in place for your store, meaning there should be some sort of email contact that you're sending out to either your potential buyers or your existing buyers or even just people who uh, signed up for a promotion, which we'll actually get into in, uh, in a couple of app showcases because there's a really great app that helps you collect emails. 
So again, you really should have a CRM system, a CRM funnel in place for your store to help communicate with your uh, with your customer. So you know, either you can use Mailchimp, which is a very very popular CRM software, and there's also um, another one called Aweber. I personally use Aweber, but again, you can also use Mailchimp. So right here we have Mailchimp. So you can go ahead and uh, download this for free, and then you can go ahead and also get Aweber. Which, um, let's see. Okay, so the Aweber one is five dollars a month. Now, all these apps do is they literally take your uh, take whatever parameters you put in. So, say you have a you have a pop up right that asks for someone's email. So you say, okay, so I want every email and that's entered into this pop up, I want it to go straight into my Aweber account. Meaning, you don't have to go through the tedious process of taking your leads downloading them and then re-uploading them to your uh, to your CRM software because again either the Aweber for Shopify app or the Mailchimp app literally does it all for you so again your lead goes directly from your Shopify store to your CRM software so whether it be again Aweber or Mailchimp or whatever you use so Again, this was app showcase number three. Now let's go ahead and do number four. Now this again is one of those app showcases that you can either have one or the other. So the first one I'm going to show you is the McAfee app. Now, obviously, if you guys have been using a computer for uh, you know for the last decade, you know what McAfee is. It's a great, great um, online secure, I guess, program, software, website, whatever it is, but. If you've ever downloaded anything from the internet, if you've ever um, you know seen any ads from McAfee, you know it's one of those um, secure sort of trust badges. So again, we can either go ahead, we can download McAfee, which is just a little little um, you know red logo, this logo right here in the corner of your screen, or we can download the Trust app. Now, personally, I've been seeing a lot of stores use the Trust app, and I kind of like this one a lot more than the uh, than the small McAfee app. So let's go ahead, let's authorize this for our store, and let's move on to the next app. Now let's see if this asks me to configure anything. So we might have to set up some basic settings. Again, this is the first time I'm using this app, so I'm not too sure. Um, so let's go ahead, let's see what they ask us. So, okay, so cool, so they have a starter plan. So let's go ahead and select the free starter plan. Um, Okay, cool. So it looks like I'm already on the free starter plan. So let's go ahead and let's just see if this uh, this actually took effect. So again, this is our store. Let's reload that and let's see if uh, we have the trust badges. Oh, perfect. So right here. So you see, we have these awesome trust badges, SSL certificate, nice address, whatever it may be. Um, you know, you the the whole the whole nine yards instead of having one little trust badge. So again, that's just a little bit nicer. You have a lot more a uh, lot more stuff for your customer to look at, and it just looks a lot better. So let's go ahead and let's go back into our app so we can close this out. And let's go ahead and let's go visit the app store once again. Now the next app, and this is very very important if you have any sort of Instagram presence for your store it's very important to have a shoppable Instagram page meaning if you post something on Instagram like a product your customer is gonna have a hard time going to your store link and actually finding that product now the benefit of having a shoppable Instagram store is that they can actually go ahead and click the image that you that they like and be linked directly to the product now the one app that I highly recommend is called snap it so let's go ahead and find that so again, this is a free app. It says it's in beta, but it works extremely well. Um, so let's go ahead and download that. And again, since I don't really have an Instagram account set up with uh, this particular store, we're not going to configure it. But again, um, so you don't need to see that. Uh, so again, let's go ahead and visit the app store. Let's do another app. But again, Snap It is a great app for when you uh, need to link your Instagram presence to your Shopify store. It's very, very powerful, and uh, I would highly recommend it. So the next app, this goes back to uh, the CRM softwares. This app is very, very, very useful in capturing leads. It's called Fishbowl, and this isn't your ordinary email lead capturing software. Now, whereas you might have um, something like Privy or Email Collection Bar, 
offering your customer a discount in exchange for their email I don't like that okay I'm a very very um, strong disbeliever in discounts because I feel like when you give a discount it really devalues your brand it really tells your customer okay so if they're willing to give me a discount just for my email how much is this product really worth you know how much are they really um, how much are they what's it called how much are they marking up the product to make a profit in when they can just give me whatever 25% 50% whatever discount just for my email so again you don't want to do that you really don't want to devalue your brand you want to have as much upfront value as you possibly can so what I like to do is I like to go ahead and I like to use the app fishbowl and again what I was saying fishbowl is different from the other apps because fishbowl takes the concept of literally giveaways so right so imagine you walk into a deli right or you walk into um, whatever a mom and pop shop and they're trying to get emails so what they would do is they would have you write down your email on a little slip of paper and throw it in a physical fishbowl or a physical bowl whatever it may be right and at the end of the month or at the end of the week they're gonna go ahead they're gonna select one of these slips and they're gonna email you they're gonna say hey you want a free sandwich or hey you want a free hour of bowling whatever it is but this app literally takes that concept and brings it into the e-commerce world so let me show you exactly how that works so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna download that and we're gonna authorize this for our store and actually I'm not gonna show you exactly how it works but um okay so uh, let's get going maybe I will give me two seconds let me see where this takes me okay perfect so I can really really quickly show you how this works so you can actually go ahead and take a tour uh, but let me show you my my way so again you put your prize name in here you put your prize uh, image here so whatever we're gonna do um, free uh, what, what should we do we should do um, a free sub free submarine T infuser let's go ahead and let's So let's go ahead, let's take this, let's, ta let's save this image very quickly. So we're going to save the image. And let's go back into our Fishbowl app. So again, what we'll do is we'll browse, um, we'll select the image that we just downloaded. Okay, so it looks like we need a, a different image. So. Let me go ahead and very, very quickly create something, just whip something up, you know. Okay, give me two seconds. I don't know what just happened. Okay, so let's go ahead, let's create a design and um, if I recall, it was what 1280 times 720. We'll use custom to dimensions 1280 times um, 720. And really, it's going to be super, super easy. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead, we're going to upload a design. And um, this is a great, great free app called Canva. It's a great uh, alternative to Photoshop. For those who aren't very, uh, you know, Photoshop handy, very friendly with Photoshop, this is a very, very friendly UI, very easy to use, very easy to learn. Uh, again, I would recommend using this anytime you uh, need to create, you know, like a quick edit or something of the sort. So let's go ahead and let's just drag this right in and let's make that a little bigger and perfect. Literally that easy. So let's go ahead and let's download this. Gives you a nice fun little quote from Albert Einstein. Awesome. Let's go back into Fishbowl and let's go ahead and so it might be in downloads. Hopefully it is. Was that it? Right here. Perfect. Okay, awesome. So it's going to go ahead and upload that. Uh, save this image. We're going to go ahead and set say the prize value is 30. Price category will be um, food and drink. Perfect. Company name. Dropship tutorial. 
contest URL. Again, this is going to be our um, just our URL, our store URL. So let's go ahead and paste that in. Start date will be today. Draw date will be in two months. Um, company logo, we don't need to do that. Company description, blah, blah, blah. We really don't need this for this, uh, you know, for this specific um, example. So prize description and rules, we can just say um, valid in the USA only, something of that sort. And again, we can just go ahead and copy that in there as well. Now this is where we get to actually customizing it. So this is how it will look on your home screen. So what I like to do is I like to go with the classic, but maybe for this we can go with the classic call out. So we can go ahead and keep it like this. Let's go ahead and um, let's just add an exclamation point. And then we'll do win. Okay, so we can't. Because they're, <coughs> God, excuse me. So next we'll go ahead, we'll select our widget location. Let's go ahead and, yeah, let's keep it as this. Um, we'll have a light theme. We don't need to promote my giveaway. Display official rules on Marketplace accept terms and conditions now what we'll actually do is we'll go ahead and we'll come up here and I believe there's an option up here somewhere where um, preview giveaway um, okay so that might have been this so um you know I, I only want this to run on Free submarine T infuser. Again, I only want this to run on my website, meaning I don't want it to be on there on Fishables uh, marketplace. So again, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check off this. It's gonna go ahead and only have it on my uh, on my site. Because again, I don't want to collect the emails of people on Fishbowl's website. I want to collect the emails of people on my website. So, okay, we have go. We went ahead and we created it. Now, let's go ahead and check this out. So, let's go ahead and do not show on Marketplace. Because, again, we do not want to have this on, um, on their Marketplace. We only want to have it on ours. And if you don't know what their Marketplace is, this is literally what it looks like. Um, again, they have their own Marketplace where you can enter in your email to uh, in, for a chance to win a prize. So, like this. Um, you see they have 1,719 entries. But, again most of these people are just giving in their card or giving their giving in their email um, for uh, maybe a fake email or they'll definitely unsubscribe from your list as soon as they don't win so again you really want to have it on your site only so let's go ahead and reload this and let's check it out so boom right here win free submarine T infuser perfect $30 value and turn your email it's really that simple and it looks great on mobile as well really really great app highly recommend it um, and yeah so let's go ahead let's move on to the next one now the next one is going to be Facebook chat now this is gonna be you know the last but not least app that you need to have on your uh, on your store so this is going to be called Facebook chat. So right here, perfect. Facebook chat by Beaketing. And what this does is it literally just gives you a little chat box right here. And let me just show you real quick. Um, I'll show you exactly what it does actually. And basically this allows you to reply to your customer in real time. And the best part is, is that, um, so hold on, let's just enter in https uh, um, www.facebook.com slash um, slash we'll do like Forza that's the first thing that came to mind huh. maybe it's not Okay, so facebook.com slash 
Let's see. We can do beaconing. Because that's what they had. Okay, cool. So, again, this is for informational purposes only. I'm obviously not going to have them, and you shouldn't use them either. You should use your own Facebook page. But, again, this is, like, I just wanted to show you guys exactly what it does. So, let's wait for this to load, and let's check it out. So, again, as I was saying, Facebook chat allows you to talk to your customers in real time. So, if your customer has a question, they'll go ahead and they'll write you a message. So, instead of them, uh, instead of using a different uh, either live chat app or using a simple email contact form this is a lot better because a you get that person's Facebook right so not only do you get their Facebook but when you send them a reply it goes straight to their Facebook meaning they're never gonna miss it now it's not working currently because again I didn't use my uh, I didn't use my Facebook so I can't I don't have access to their account but again, that's what that would look like. Now you can actually go ahead and um, let's see. So let's reload this really quick. Let me just change the widget position so it's not blocked by the uh, by that other stuff. So again, we'll just drag this over to the left side of the screen. We'll save and activate. So okay, cool. Now let's go ahead and reload this and let's see our final app. You know, app full. <laughs> page so again we have our messages we have our trust badges and we have our fishbowl again we don't really need anything else it's pretty much set it's ready to it's ready to go you're really really ready to go other than product descriptions which will be in the next video this store is pretty much ready to have traffic run to it um, again this is let's go ahead and actually let me give you a quick overview of all the apps that I've installed so let's go ahead and reload this page and let's check these out so again we have Vantage we have trust app we have printful we have Oberlo we have snap it for Instagram we have fishbowl and we have Facebook chat by beaconing guys take a screenshot do what you gotta do go out and get these apps I'm telling you they'll help your store tremendously um, and not only in boosting conversions, but again, also boosting trust and boosting your, uh, you know, allowing you to scale your store. So again, thank you so much for watching. If you found this useful, please do me a favor, subscribe, comment, like, again, do what you got to do. Let me know if you've liked this video and if you want to see more. In fact, I want you to go ahead into the comments. I want you to tell me what you've been struggling with over this past course so that I can go ahead and I can make a video detailing exactly how to get past those hurdles and get past those struggles that you're, uh, that you're struggling with. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see all of you in the next video.